Jacques Minaud was born in Paris on February 9, 1910, to parents Lucien Minaud and Charlotte McGregor Todd. He was raised in Cannes in the south of France, and his father, Lucien, was a French Huguenot painter, engraver, and historian that had a passion for intellectual affairs. Jacques' interest in biology was sparked at a very young age from his father reading the works of Charles Darwin to him. He also had a passion for music and learned to play the cello. Jacques's father, Lucien, had an artistic sensitivity which gave him a positive outlook on the progress seen between science and society. He was a cultured man which Jacques expressed great admiration for. Monod attended secondary school at the College of Cannes until 1928, where he studied Greek under Monsieur Dode la Souchère, the founder and curator of the Ancy Museum, who greatly inspired his appreciation for culture. Renaud began his higher education at the Sorbonne and earned his degree in natural sciences in 1928 and his doctorate in 1941. At the biological station in Roscoff, he met George Tessier, André Waff, Boris Afrosi, and Louis Rapkin, who he credited with his introduction to biology. Tessier taught him quantitative descriptions, Waff taught him the powers of microbiology, Afrosi taught him physiological genetics, and Rapkin introduced him to the idea that only chemical and molecular descriptions can give an interpretation of a living being. Menon married Odette Brule, an archaeologist and orientalist from Milwaukee, in 1938. She later went on to become the curator of the Guimet Museum and was part of the French Resistance along with Menon. After the invasion of Normandy, Minot became a part of the resistance, joining the French Communist Party in 1943 and then the Franc Tireur Partisans in 1944. He used his laboratory in Sorbonne as a meeting place and an underground print shop for propaganda bulletins. Afrasi was the one who convinced Minot that genetics was important and worth further study. He helped Minot get a Rockefeller Fellowship, and they both went to Pasadena to learn at the California Institute of Technology. The most famous experiment that Menard worked on with Arthur Pardee and Francois Jacob was the Pajamo experiment in 1959. Jacob joined the Pasteur Institute in 1950 as a research assistant, and Arthur Pardee joined on a sabbatical year in 1959. The objective of the experiment was to understand the mechanisms of induction. They used strings of E. coli to study the genetic nature and the biochemical effects of three mutations of enzymes, specifically looking at the beta-galactosidase, also known as lactase. For the mating experiments, a stock medium was created and the overnight culture was inoculated and grown in the same medium. The culture was then aerated and mixed with some samples being taken out occasionally for plating and enzyme assay for measurements of recombinants. They used the blender technique to interrupt the mating cells and determine the penetration times of the markers going to the zygotes. The recombinant colonies were then restreaked onto the stock medium. They tested for galactosidase synthesis by using filter paper impregnated with ONPG, a substrate used for galactosidase activity detection. They created enzyme assays with the aliquots of the culture to measure optical density and calculate units of enzymes. The figure on the left shows the rate of enzyme formation and the recombinant's appearance with a comparison of the controlled blended samples, which show very little growth. The figure on the right shows inhibition percentages of both limited carbon sources and arginine of enzymes and recombinants. The three graphs show the effects of inducers, the most significant being the middle graph where we see the inducer producing a larger growth spurt and also inhibiting the inhibitor that is seen in the control group with no inducer. They discover the existence of messenger RNA by proving how information is converted during the formation of proteins. They also use their work to map the suppression and the expression of genes in a self-regulating process. Jacques Menard, Francois Jacob, and André Waff were awarded with the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine in 1965 for their work in genetic control of enzyme and virus synthesis. 
Menard was always for progress in society, as you see in introducing Martin Luther King Jr. in the Southern Christian Leadership Conference in 1966. In his later years, he pursued the philosophical impact of biology as well, with his book Chance and Necessity in 1970. Unfortunately, Menon developed leukemia and spent his final days sailing before he died May 31, 1976, in Cannes at the age of 66.